guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing for you. So I opened the package, and then I accidentally showed my address, so I'm just going to start over. I haven't actually opened anything. I unboxed it with the Kaiser Mercury. Uh, I really love this knife. I've gushed about it for a while now. I did a live stream with the designer, and we talked all about it, so if you want to check that out, um, go watch the last live stream or one of the last ones. It's with Alex Berkowitz and this thing is $139 when it releases from Kaiser. It's by far my favorite Kaiser ever and uh, you should check it out. So we have Urban ADC right here. Oh, I love the Ohlone Goat V2 and we have a K&MT Lynch Northwest BCS one, V1.2 Sagaha Thai Fade DBL Anodize. <laughs> so basically we have a mouthful of something here. Let's see if we can't do some surgery with our mercury here. Did we get under that tape? There we go. So it says pry bar. Trying to get it out of here smoothly so that I don't have to. Eh, looks like I'm sending it back a little bit worse than I got it. I try to be good about that because they usually resell the stuff I send back, I assume. But there's nothing I can do here. I have to rip this. Maybe not as badly as I ripped it, but hey. So this is the important box, right? I'll just get rid of that for you. No worries. All right. Now we got to cut this anyway. I do like Lynch's packaging. Uh, it looks like there's a sleeve as well. I'll try to hold off on cutting that. I'll never get that back on, but hey. Sagaha SGA V1.2. I really don't know what that is. Thanks for your support, Casey. And there it is. All right. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Okay. This is kind of cool, though, that they made a bigger one because I was just talking about how I didn't like the uh, OG All Access Pass, mostly because um, I don't think there's anything else in here. I'm just checking. There's just a lanyard. Uh, mostly because it's small enough that w with the bottle opener, it's really uncomfortable for me and it's easy for me to kind of pinch myself here um, now this one's not really big enough either I mean I can kind of fit all four but I would want this area to be I'd love to get my hand inside that swell so smaller hands are going to love this but it does work and then you have some jimping here um, seems like it's mostly set up you know, for the bottle opener but I, I don't know, you can, you can hold it like this. Um, or I guess if you're right-handed, you'd hold it like this and scrape or what. I don't know how you'd do it. But that's why I don't like these style pry bars because they have the bottle opener. And the bottle opener just seems to always ergonomically get in my way. So I prefer something like this from Vero. If you're going to have a pocket pry bar, which I really don't see the point in for me personally... This is it, because you don't have a bottle opener there to block your hand or pinch you or anything. If you're trying to pry a paint can and you slip and you jack yourself up on this thing, I've done that. Or you pinch yourself with the clip, you know, this has a milled sort of flat clip. This, you know, you could get under there somehow. Um, it's got a cool fade anno and it's got the cigar hot pattern on it, so I'm sure these will be popular. Um... I don't know. It's not my style in terms of the aesthetics. Um, it's a little too bright for me. Um, but it is cool. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to love this. It says Lynch Northwest. And then you have a... Um, I like that they have a little chisel here or whatever you call that. Drop off to the grind. So it's it's thinner here. You have a thicker section here. I don't know what that would be for. I guess if you're using this upper tip or something. I don't know. Then you have sort of a corner here you could use as a flathead, I guess. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, I dig it for sure. I, I'm not sure where the K and MT comes in on this one. 
Um, I believe it said that on the wrapper or something. I don't know if it's a collab. Um, but it just says V1.2 best case scenario. That's the uh, model name, I assume. They have those interesting model names, which is cool. But uh, let me put all this back together. See if we can't. You think we can do it? You think? You think I can get that sleeve on? I doubt it. Plus, uh, I'm probably going to want to take a picture with this. But yeah, there's no way I would get Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon, baby. All right, we got one more thing. So they only sent me two things. This is from JRW. And it looks like some kind of bottle opener. This is the Pocket Art and Tool. This is the Judge, I guess. So you get a... Um, you get a uh, koozie. JRW. Pocket Tools. You get a Ranger Eye. Reach out. You get a card and a sticker. Here's the card. Judge. To determine who drinks, takes a shot, pays the tab, or create your own game. Spin, it says. Jared W. Pocket Tools, so you can spin this thing, and then it'll point at you. So, it has a little nubbin as a top. Yeah, if you have it on something that's not cork, like just a table, specifically not a mouse pad... They should have made that a little bit bigger. Um, you can play a game. So you'd be like, who's paying tonight? Right? Let's see who's paying. Me or you? Oh, looks like you over there, Bob. Bob's paying. Who's taking the next shot? Me or you? Uh, oh. Looks like Joe. Joe's paying the next one. Or he's taking the shot. And then who drinks? It's kind of, I don't know. Is that pointing at me or is that pointing at Chris? I think it's Chris. It's on you, bro. You're drinking. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you get the point. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I thought it was going to be a bottle opener or something. Uh, my guess is this thing's probably like $40 or something. But you do get some cool stuff with it. Um, it's heavy, though. So if you're going to put this in your pocket, you know, you can keep it at your house on the table. That'd be pretty cool. So you had it at your bar and you could play games with it. Um, yeah, I like the concept quite a bit. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Not going to hate on it. Not going to hate on it. My initial reaction was like, it's probably overpriced, but you know, everything's overpriced these days. So it's really just the economy. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I think that might be a QR code. Not sure, but you can scan that if you want. So there you go, guys. I'm going to send it on over to that knucklehead and you're going to uh, see the face cam portion. Love you. Hey guys, Kev here. And I want to get into the face cam section of the what's hot um apologize for the camera i swear it's on like a wide angle right now i don't know what's going on <laughs> i don't know why it chose the wide angle but i feel like it's different than usual i could be wrong but i think it is um i just picked up a new phone so i got the um 15 pro max and i'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I kind of want to do some videos about the phone and cases and all that stuff. So I need a camera for that. So I'm thinking about buying an older iPhone just to have as a like backup camera. My camera that I'm using now is actually my old phone, the 13 Pro. And I don't know, maybe some of the settings when I transfer everything got jacked up, but I swear this is not usually how wide angle it is. Um, but the trade-in on this is just like it's a lot more than i think would be worth keeping it um so i'm trying to figure all this out but anyway let's check out the um gear drop and then i'll get you guys out of here i gotta get my kiddo to bed so i'm in a little bit of a hurry here you guys saw the unboxing so 
let us get into it. I have the gear drop up here. So we have a JRW gear trader. I believe this is the uh, fixed blade that uh, Tactile is making for them. Um, yep, manufactured by Tactile in Texas, which is pretty dang cool. Um, you're looking at probably Magna Cut. Yep, Magna Cut, Rich Light Scales, Warren Cliff Blade. Not my style in terms of design, but definitely cool that they're doing this. And uh, has a cool sheath to it. It's definitely got a cool look, just not, you know, for me exactly. $259 is a little pricey for a fixed blade, I would say, but they are having it OEM. Then you have the uh, Lynch Northwest best case scenario. I did check one of those out in the unboxing. Again, not my style aesthetically, but cool. And if you guys are into it, they're 120 bucks. I think that's pretty good. They've been around 100 bucks for years now. So um, got to give Lynch Northwest some credit for not jacking prices up. And um, Titanium American made. Very, very cool. Fellholter Pens. Um, then we have a Chris Reeve small Savenza ladder Damascus inlay, oh, bog oak and ladder, ladder Damascus, duh, bog oak inlay, uh, 829, pretty sick. You know, uh, I wouldn't get one with the Damascus just because I want to have it be a user, but uh, it is very, very cool. So uh, you have a Savenza, we have a JW knife and tool Meridian. This looks cool. I like this design a lot. Um, that handle looks really sexy with that blade. I, I'm digging this one quite a bit right here. So very slick. $340. Man, fixed blades are expensive these days. Uh, S90B steel. It does look really well made. Um, but yeah, there you go. We have a Runt 5 in Magna Cut and Purple Aluminum. $150. Bucks. There you go. USA made knife automatic 150 bucks that's a steal right there protect's really killing it you have this cool little jw knives g8 mid bandicoot custom uh it's a little pry bar that you can put a bit into looks like you could also use it with a larger sort of um hex situation or bolt uh, i'm not sure how well that would work but hey looks cool um, you have another fell holter. This is the Crafta bolt, so it's a bolt action um, utility knife. JW knife and tool Meridian Type S this is the sheep's foot version, I suppose. Uh, Three twenty nine on that one. You have a really cool looking Prometheus Lights Delta stonewashed electroless nickel custom flashlight. That's very sleek. Is that an 18350 on this guy? Yeah, 18350. He's a little fat guy, a little chode. Um, very, very cool. I don't know where these are made, but I'm guessing they're made in uh, the U.S. somewhere. But it's very, very cool. Um, I can't read through all of this. But, yes, manufactured in the U.S. World-class leading LED. 100% hand-built. A lot of cool stuff going on here. Read through all this if you like. I'm a clicky switch. Very, very cool. Uh, you have some cool beads from Combat Beads. Nice. Some more of these uh, fixed blades from JW Knives. We have another one here from JW Knives. And then we have this really cool JRW Gear Judge Bottle. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that's $115? Holy cow. Um, sorry, I don't know why that just absolutely blows my mind. It's cool. It's made out of stainless steel. It's made out of stainless steel. It's got a little nub at the bottom that you can kind of spin. It's not even like a top. It doesn't have ceramic or anything. It's just, is it, it's just stamped steel or whatever, however they do it. That's crazy that that thing is... 115 i don't know why that blows my mind it says it's a bottle opener how are you opening a bottle with this i mean sure i could you know grab the lip and pop something most people can't do that kind of stuff um yeah i'm not sure how you're supposed to open a bottle with that flip it over to pop a bottle oh okay i guess upside down it locks in somehow okay Precision machine from stainless steel. 
You know, I think it's really cool. I do. You guys saw the unboxing. I thought it was really cool, but I assumed it was 20 bucks. When I looked at this, I swear I first was like, oh, 15 bucks. Nice. <laughs> uh, all right. I know I'm I, I I've never been the I've never been the price please. They it just lately seems like a lot of things are just really expensive. Um anyway, that's it, guys. Just a quick look. Um I got to run, but let me know what you think about the unboxing and the uh, gear drop. Use the links down below if you are going to pick one up. I would appreciate it. And uh, I'll try to get this camera stuff figured out for next week. I'm stoked on having the uh, Pro Max 15 or whatever. I got the natural titanium. Looks pretty good. Right now, I got the mag back case on it. Saw it on Instagram. It looked pretty minimal, and then it has strong magnets, so this thing doesn't come off, and it is a wallet, too, which I have to have, and it has the finger loop that I really like. Um, I just worry about the durability on this finger loop, uh, but the reason I wanted all that was uh, I'll do some videos on this, but so that way I can get into wireless charging. Um, right now, the case I use on my 13 Pro is called a Wally case. Fantastic, by the way. They don't have many masculine options, but it has a really good finger loop. It has a wallet for the cards, but you can't use uh, MagSafe stuff. So it's just kind of a trade off, you know, and I didn't care that much. But now I feel like everything's going that way. I want to get a cool, like, wireless stand to put everything on at night. and. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm trying out some different things. I got another one on the way that has a sort of wallet situation. No uh, finger loop, though. I might have to invent something because there's got to be a good way to just have a locked-in wallet, finger loop, and then easily pop it off and then charge your stuff without having to worry about it. The problem with this is even though the magnet is very strong, if I go to slide it in my pocket, right? If it just hits the wrong spot on the wallet, it's coming off. And I really don't like that aspect to it. But I guess I could learn to put it in the other way. Or what I've kind of learned to do is put my hand like this as I'm sliding in my pocket so that I cover all that and then let go and it drops in. But um, it's all a learning curve. We'll see how that goes. I know a lot of you guys don't care about tech stuff uh, but you know I'm, I'm into it so i might as well show it but uh anyway thank you to urban ec for sending the stuff out this week seems like a pretty light week on the gear drop um let me know what you think about the stuff i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you